Hello everyone, this is Jason from Primetime Aquatics. In an earlier video, I talked about how we had some lost footage of the fish room build. This is from a couple, two, three years ago. Before we get into the actual fish room build, one of the things I'd like to do is show you the fish room before it was a fish room. So stay tuned. So the old fish room had the 150. It had a 75, a 55, a 37, a 29, and I think a 20 long. So we're going to start here. This is a this is old school uh, 150. You can see how small the ballast shark is. There are fish in here, a lot of fish in here that we don't even have anymore because they've since passed. That red, em uh, red empress is a different red empress, the ACI, that species 44. These are all different fish. They, they, they're not here. There's a lethronops up there. This is the way the 150 looked pretty close to when we set it up uh, probably eight or nine years ago and looked that way for quite some time. So we had lots of fake plants. We had the under gravel filter running along with a Marine Land Penguin 400, I believe. And, you know, I've mentioned before that this 150 has gone through a lot of iterations. At this point, this Lethronops and the Red Empress were trying to figure out who was the boss. You can see there is uh, some, there's a, a Garami in there, a Gold Garami. Uh, there's some Chinese algae eaters. You know, the old decorations that we, you know, recently pulled out about six months ago. They're looking a lot newer in on this side. There's a Bashardi in there, Lelupi. So this was another true community tank with a lot of different fish. And it all worked out. Again, you don't see any fin nipping. Nobody's uh, up in a corner anywhere. There's an OB back there. So here we have the 75 that was right next to it again, guys. I apologize for the video quality. This is really old stuff. I, it was really never meant to be on YouTube. It was just me documenting my my fish. We had a, a parrot cichlid in here, the clown loaches, the same ones that we have today. Uh, there's a, a couple of them, two or three of them in that 75. Uh, that angelfish that you see is not the same one as we have today. And again, on this tank, I believe we had two penguin... 200s possibly i think uh some buenos aries tetras are also in this tank and again we're going to see some pretty poor camera quality here that gold severum that is one of the two that we see in the 150 in some of our more current videos that acrithes he uh, hecali really cool fish uh, that has since passed on but that was that was a great fish with a lot of awesome color like that fish a lot you can see the streamers again in fact that might have been one of the the older ones you know we had one in the 75 but i don't think that was the same fish i think this one might have been the previous one to that uh, you can see here even the gravel i mean it looks it's black gravel if you look at that tank now it's a nice angel fish couple nice angel fish uh you know it's it was a much newer tank back then and again it was it was an interesting mix but they were all getting along pretty good again the clown loaches were in there and Again, we had some nice angel fish. I don't think any of these angel fish that are in here are still angel fish that we have. Uh, again, this is going back at least pff, maybe a couple years before we had the YouTube channel and before we added on the whole other half of the fish room. And this was the 37 gallon. We had a 37 and a 20 long stuck between the 75 and the 150. This was our very first peacock gudgeon. Uh, it was a female. It was in the 37. You can see a honey garami there. We have some keyhole cichlids, and I believe one of which is still in the 150 today. Uh, same with that uh, tiger botia is still in the 150. There, here we have the 55 gallon. Again, sorry for all the crazy, shaky video. Uh, these were the Oscars. These are the Oscars that you see in our 125 today. That's pretty close to when we first got them. Same with the Frontosa. That's in the 150 right now. There is a jewel cichlid in here, at least one, if not two. Oh my goodness, my video work was stellar here. Uh, so there's one or two jewel cichlids, one of which is still in the 125. Uh, there's something else in here, and I don't remember what it is, but it's another fish that has, is still around. Uh, but yeah, these were the Oscars when they were super, super tiny. This is the front toaster when it was really tiny. The jewel cichlids when they were still pretty small. And all these fish were in a 55 gallon. You know, they were all very tiny and cute at the time. This is one of the 55s, I believe, is now double stacked in the corner and has the Geophagus Tapajos in there. Again, you know, you got the Oscars in there. And this was a really fun tank when we first got it. 
And here we have the 29 at the time. That little tiny angelfish that you see here, that is the big one that is now in the 150. So it's still there. Believe it or not, do you see those neons on the lower right hand side? We still have one of those neons in the 50 gallon low boy uh, that houses the, uh, the Maltese. So we've got some German blue rams. We have a dwarf grammy in there. Uh, other fish that are in there. Uh, the black neons, there is still one black neon that is upstairs in our 20 high that's still kicking. Again, these this tank, you know, when I'm shooting this video is at least a couple years prior to when we started the fish room build. So it gives you an idea. And, and you know, so that would have been, the, you know, maybe these tanks at this point were four years ago or so. Uh, that's when I started, you know, documenting everything. I wish I would have started earlier and, you know, even did the old side of the fish room. So all of these tanks that you're looking at are where the couch is now. Uh, there is a curviceps cichlid. There's actually two in there. Those two are still alive and they are currently in the 75 gallon with the green severum and the leaf tinapoma. But yeah, this is the side where, you know, we do fish room tour part two. That's this side. It had the couch. It had a big screen TV. There was nothing on the wall to our left at that point. It was just the, the 29 here, which would have been on, you know, where the 10 gallons are now. And the 55 would be right across on the other side of the TV. But this is, this is kind of how it looked. All right, everybody, so that was the fish room before it was a fish room. In the next video, we're going to show you how we built out this side of the fish room and take you through the thought process of that. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, share, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.